Hello everyone. I would like to continue our Bible study in this season and ask the Lord inspire me to encourage all our international community wherever you are. Open your Bible and read the letters of Ephesians and few videos I was sharing Ephesians chapter 1 to 5 to lead you into Bible study and I share in a short my inspiration and I hope it will help you to understand more when you read the Bible. This season is a unique season and this season the Lord wants to bless you and strengthen you. So today I want to continue the last chapters in the letter of Ephesians, the chapter 6. In this chapter 6, I want to give you a short inspiration so that you know when you open the Bible what it's talk about. In Ephesians chapter 6, mainly focus here victory in Christ. There is a victory in the name of Jesus Christ. There is a healing, blessing in the name of Jesus Christ. In here, I love very much. I often talk in this letter of Ephesians chapter 6. This is one of my favorite chapters, which always strengthen me, encourage me. In here, it's encouraging us today, inspire us today, victory in Christ. How you will get a victory in Christ? To get a victory in Christ, to get a victory, you challenge, you struggle, you need uh, many things. You need Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And through Jesus Christ, you will get a victory. Especially in this letter of Ephesians chapter 6, verses 1 to 4, it's talk about children and parents. Continue from verse 5 to 10, it's talk about slaves and master. And verses 10 to 24, it's talk about the armor of God. And here, I want to encourage you, read the whole verses, and every word is so powerful. So here, as I talk about children and father are given advice. Verses 1 to 4. And when you continue inspiring here here also talk about paul talk about slaves and master are told how to work as follower of christ verses five to nine it's powerful and after that from verse 10 the whole verse till the end of verse 24 here powerful word encouraging to all of us it's there is a war, a spiritual war. A spiritual warfare, it's talking about. And here Paul tells his readers how to prepare for the battle for the enemy. He requests pray for himself. There's a real battle. And this is real battle, it's a spiritual battle it's talking about. It's not about something take the carny shoot and fight. But here the spiritual battle Paul is talking about. And here when we read in this chapter, it's powerful inspiration and it's powerful word. Especially here from the very beginning, he said, Children, obey your parents. In the Lord, for this is right. Honor your parents, honor your fathers and mothers. 
which is the first commandment with a promise. That it may go well with you and that you may enjoy long life on the earth. Here is talking about children and parents. Children, obey your parents. That's the first commandment. Where you will have a long life. Where you will have a blessing. But also here, it's also giving advice. Father, do not exasperate your children. Instead, bring them up in the training and, and instruction of the Lord. It is a powerful word to the parents, to the father and mother. Children will obey the Lord, obey the parents, but also parents teach your child in the way they should go. Bring them up. Instead of shouting, instead of complaining, bring them up, instruct them, basing on the word of God. And here, slaves and master. It's about the serving. And here it's serving that one servant cannot serve the master. Servant can slip one master. Slave, obey your earthly master with respect and fear and with the sincerity of heart, just as you would obey Christ. Sincerity. No, fear, respect, and sincere of ready of the heart. Obey Christ. It's amazing. Obey them. Not only their only to win their favor when their eyes is on you. But like slaves of the Christ, doing the will of God from your heart. Doing the will of God from your heart. It's very powerful of like in slave, you know, you do, don't do only when your master looking at you. But too, even though your master doesn't look at you, the same as. Christ to the will of God, even though you can see, even though people can see you, but here, to the will of God from your heart. God, what the Lord wants you to do from your heart. Will of our Lord Jesus Christ, so that you will be blessed. Serve wholeheartedly. You do something, but you complain. So you miss the blessing. But here, it talks about serve the Lord with all heartedly. What good things you are doing with your all heart. As if you were serving the Lord. Not men, because you know that the Lord will reward everyone for whatever good he does whether he is slaves or free. Every single person, whatever you do, God will bless. And master, treat your slave in the same way. Do not treat them since you know that he would in put their master in yours in is in heaven and there is no favoritism with him. In a short, when you love someone, don't do partiality, don't do favoritism, but equal, love equal, bless equality, so that the Lord will do something great. Because often we do, this is my favorite, I do this, neglect the others. But today, Jesus wants to encourage us, Paul wants to encourage in this letter, do with your heart. 
without partiality. Read more, you will inspire more. I only just encourage you in a short so that this inspiration you will enlighten more when you read this week Bible study from this Ephesians chapter 6. And the last part is exciting. I want to close. It's the armor of God. Here, encouraging us. Finally, be strong in the Lord in the mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood. Be strong in the Lord. Put on the full armor of God. So that when the darkness come, you will stand from, you, you can stand against. When you're born again, when you revive your life, when you give your life, the Spirit of the Lord will tell no. Don't speak this words, bad words. Don't do bad words. Don't go to the world. Come back to the kingdom of God. And when we have the armor of God, when the evils come, when temptation come, when the darkness time come, when the challenge come, you will overcome because our struggle is not against the flesh and blood. Not against the flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authority, against the power of the dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in heavenly realm. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, when the challenge comes, when darkness comes, hardest time in your life, when the evil days comes, you may be able to stand your crown and after you have done everything to stand, what? After you got a victory stand, what? Here, encouraging us. It's not only for one day, but here is it. I like verse 14. It stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist with the breastplate of righteousness in place verse 15, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that come from the gospel of peace. That's powerful. Especially here, I want to encourage deep rooted with the word of God, Bible study, so that when the darkness evil come, you will overcome, you will get a victory, and you will stand firm, and you will see the blessings of God. Because here, it's very clearly encouraging us. And also verse 16, you say, In addition to all this, what it says, Take up the shield of faith. Be ready, be strengthened. Stand firm in the word of God. But also here it says, Take up the shield to protect you. Shield of faith, have faith. Believe in the word of God. With which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And what here it very, say very clearly, Bible study in your daily life. It's very important. Because the word of God will strengthen you. The word of God, when you deep rooted, you will love God. You will hate evil. You will overcome every trials and temptation. And you will be blessed. And at the end, armor of God, have faith. Salvation. 
word of sort of the spirit, which is word of God. Read the word of God. Read the Bible. And the last part is this. And pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kind of praise and requests. With this is mine, be alert and always keep on praying for all the saints. Always keep on praying. All kinds of pray. Pray for yourself. Pray for every challenge in your life. Pray for the day. Pray for the family. Pray for the nation. Pray for the children of God. Bless the people and you will see the blessing. Always keep on praying. Even one minute, keep on praying. Even one word, don't say, I can't pray. You can speak out. In the same way, you can speak to our Lord. Pray also, you know, Paul says, after encouraging, he also said, pray also for me that whenever I open my mouth, words may be given me so that I will fearlessly make known the mystery of the gospel for which I am ambassador in chain. Pray that I may declare it fearlessly as I should. Here, Paul also closing with pray for me. He's a servant of God so that he will speak the truth when you open the mouth. That's why it's also very important we pray for our leaders. We pray for our pastors, missionaries. We pray for our church leadership. We pray for the different leadership, you children, grown-up women, leader team, pray for we every Christian our responsible to pray for each other so that it will strengthen and you will get a victory so I just want to encourage you that have the full armor of God and when you have full armor of God you will overcome have faith believe in the word of God pray continually in this season you will see what a mighty god we serve so in this season i was encouraging the book of letter of sorry letter of ephesians in this letter here we can see rich just in christ life in christ is strengthened in christ keep from christ love in christ and victory in christ So in this chapter, 1 to 6, read and write it down what your inspiration. Because in this Ephesians, chapter 1 to 6, here it talk about Jesus Christ inspires. And this season, when you read this word of God and pray, the Spirit of the Lord will inspire you reveal you every single word he will give you inspiration and you will be blessed thank you and continue our bible study coming days may god bless you amen father bless everyone who listen this videos and let your resurrection power take over let you power inspire each and every one of us this season I pray that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, bless, strength, victory, healing will take over. In Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Amen. Bless you and see you in next video.